for those of you who do not know me, my name is Zach Petrick, and for those of you who do know me, you know I'm all about having fun. I love being out there, friends and family, out in the woods, having a good time. Um, big part of my life has been living it to the fullest. I was born and raised in Colorado uh, with an incredible family and incredible parents who raised me in Christian. Um, grew up going to Christian schools and having Christian friends and being raised by their Christian families as well. Um, truly thankful for what a blessing my childhood was. Um, but that Christian lifestyle somewhere along the way stopped my growth with God. Um, kind of hindered. And uh, it was probably when I was at the, uh, it all started when I was at the United States Air Force Academy. Those first two years there will no doubt be the hardest two years of my life. Um, they had me pretty confined, pretty restricted. Um, you know, and that led to me you know, searching for things that would take my mind off of what I was going through. And, uh, you know, it was all I could do to to get away from the academy and to, um, to try and find happiness elsewhere. So, you know, money was never an issue for us there. So every weekend I was out at different college towns and, um, you know, we were throwing extravagant parties and crazy spring breaks and crazy Christmas vacations. And I thought that, you know, if I could have as much fun as possible outside of the academy, that you know, I would, I'd be happy that uh, I'd find happiness that could trump the, the turmoil and the hardship that I was going through there. And, um, you know, so I lived that lifestyle for a while and then all of a sudden, boom, you know, that academy dream that I had was gone. I thought that if I could make, just make it through, I could, uh, have a sweet job, you know, flying planes or doing something like that. And that I, I'd be making bank and I'd, I'd just be set up for the rest of my life. And all of a sudden, that was gone. Um, I just remember the remorse and the shame and the guilt that I was feeling, you know, for letting an opportunity like that just slip right through my fingers. And I remember, you know, and it was all due to that lifestyle, um, you know, that I that lifestyle that was that what I was trying to find happiness in, and you know, thinking that that's how I'd truly be happy. And then I remembered one day that um, I remembered who I am and how I was raised and who I was raised by. I remember that there's a God out there who, who loves me and who created me and who has has a plan for me. Um, I remember that he sent his son to die for my sins and to die for my freedom. Um, I remember dropping down on my knees and praying, uh, Lord, forgive me for the lifestyle that I have lived. Forgive me for my sins. Um, Lord, I pray that you would restore my life and restore my devotion to you. I can't tell you the freedom that came after that moment. Uh, it's indescribable. Um, all the aching and the turmoil that was going on inside of me and the shame and the guilt was lifted. I felt like I could breathe again for the first time in a while. You know, I felt like I was finally enjoying life again like I did as a kid. And that's what I was searching for the whole time there at the academy. Um, I remember that God has huge plans for me and that uh, he has a life um, plan for me that is incredible, better than I could ever imagine. You know, I'll never trade the academy for anything because um, it led me back to where I'm supposed to be. And uh, for those of you who are still there, uh, I love you all and I'll see you all very soon. And even though I'm not there with you, know that God is, uh, has me right where he wants me to be. Um, so that's my story. Real condensed, real short. But if you have any questions or just want to talk, please comment below and I'll get in touch with you. Or if you have my number, call me. Um, I'd just love to talk with you all. Uh, thanks for listening and God bless.